tell me, how did you guys find each other? Uh, actually, me and, and that Walda right here have the same mutual friend, and we were at a, at a going away party. Yeah, she's going to Zaire or something like that. Yeah. So, what was that, like 2001? Yes. Yeah, 2001, and we met, and we chatted, and we uh, decided that uh, I think it was in our best interest to, uh, to start making uh, some music together. Okay. So we started writing for about a year, and then... Uh, Waldo here was actually good friends with another drummer that was in another band, which was Mr. Lance DeJour. And he uh, joined the group for a bit, and he knew of a great guitar player from another band, Ode. So we got uh, Mr. Ackerman <laughs> Johnson. Then after, after that, we had uh, another drummer, uh, Mr. Dante Sanchez, which lasted for a couple of years. Yeah, then after Dante left, uh, I had to recruit Mr. McGillicuddy, uh, who's playing with another band. Another good band, uh, Manta Ray. Manta Ray, yeah. So we have to steal them. <laughs> Introduce yourselves to the world. Okay, oh, Waldo Thornhill, bass guitar. Abe Froman, vocals. Akbar Johnson, vocals and guitar. Clarence McGillicuddy, drum. How long have you guys been in the game? Together. Together? Together? Yeah. Well, so, two. I'm the newest, so. I'm the newest, uh, I've been part of this band for four years now. This, this specific lineup, four years. Uh, the three of us, 2002. Yeah. Beginning 2002. Okay. So you guys are recording new material? How many albums do you have under your belt? An EP, two full lengths, and we're working our third full length right now. Yeah. It's going good. Are you guys all from Montreal, or are you transplants? Yeah. yeah, we're well, well, me and him are immigrants. <laughs> 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 These two were born in Canada. Yeah, but uh, all of our families like from different places. So yes, which, which makes it kind of cool. Why music? Why did you guys start playing? What was so interesting about it? I don't know. To me, music was always in my blood, which I always wanted to do since I was uh, a little wee little young lad. So what? I couldn't think of doing anything else. If it wasn't in the music industry, I'd be in the fashion industry. You're a fashion designer? No, that's what I would have done if I didn't do music. Oh, okay. My second choice. It was either that or music, and I took music. Good stuff. As for me, it was... Uh, I don't know, I just kind of... You know, the older sibling syndrome kind of thing, and uh, get out of my room kind of thing. <laughs> Actually, I owe it all, I owe it all to my, my big brother. He, uh, he introduced me to the whole metal scene, the whole hard rock and uh, things like that. And um, I don't know, it was that he gave me this little cassette before he went away to, to school. And it was uh, Anthrax's first album on one side, and on the other side it was Iron Maiden's first album. And just that first little, little distorted, heavy guitar sound, riffing at a million miles an hour. Drew you that in. was it, nine years old, that's what I want to do. <laughs> and, and here I am. Yep, here you are. I started playing drums when I was uh, around 14. What got me into it was my younger brother started playing guitar, Buford, Buford McGillicuddy. Yeah, Buford. Um, I think Buford did his nerve band for a while. Uh, so he started playing guitar and that's what got me into drums. And um, for a long time my family had a so sort of a family feud on my father's side. And, uh, my brother and I always asked ourselves why we were so, why we had such talent playing music because mom and dad really, they don't know, they don't know squad music, you know? And so um, just recently the family got back together and I recently learned that um, on my father's side, they're all musicians. So finally it was like a slap in the face and said to myself, oh, man, this, this is why, you know, I'm not, I'm not just a freak. So. It happened for a reason. <laughs> right. And you? Yeah, pretty much, like I just never wanted it to be a what if, you know, like I, what makes me or like what makes uh, like another man like better than my man, you know, and it's just like something that I just always wanted to do and I never wanted to wake up when I was 35 years old and was like, oh, I wish I was in a rock band, you know, so I just started like, I don't know, maybe when I was like 12, like playing air guitar in front of my mirror for hours, you know, and like practicing my faces and my stances and, and shit like that, but I don't know, I just like, I just came calling and then after I met, uh, 
Waldo here, it just it made sense. Like I just wanted to be a singer, right? So yeah. good stuff. Where did you guys get the name Special Ops? Uh, oh my God, it's just like. I was like, in a four to six hour argument. Yeah, no, because they were like throwing names at, and then like, and none of the names were, like, they were like, no, 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 and then someone was like, definitely no, 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 and like, uh, some controversial names and, and other names we, we shall not mention. <laughs> in case we use them again in the future. <laughs> no, but, but, but then again, the way we looked at, looked at it, we came up with a name, well, 2001 was like a lot of bad shit was going on around the world, so. How can we just do something that would have a name that would be catchy, but we could also be like say messengers That's of music to, 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 the, to, to the public and saying, well, look, well, to point out to, to, to the world, like, well, what, what's going on? It's not not right, and, and something's got to be done about it. That's it, and also too, like these guys were also playing in other bands, so I just found that like special ops, like, was kind of like a special project, you know, that just, like, it just worked, and, like, it was the only name that I think, honestly, we, we could agree on, you know? Yeah, everybody agreed on that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. God, I used to be a band for it, like, how many bands did he just play before he started it touring? Crazy, man. It was crazy. Four different bands, and, I don't know, musician, so, like, it's like, I could play bass, so it's like, okay, to me, music's like bass playing, it's just bass playing, so it's like, oh, gotta, gotta play here, and pay, okay, sure, I'll come in. But now I found my real, my real, uh, niche. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>